slavery, lashes on the back, slave ships, on drugs, crack cocaine, prostitution, us having to serve our enemies. But if your children keep your rules, what is going to happen? You reward them. Let's see what our reward is. Y'all, let me ask y'all a question, Moses. Come closer. Come closer. So, y'all understand y'all Israelites, right? You understand you're an Israelite, Moses? Okay, all praises. You curious. So, you believe in the Bible at all? Somewhat? You believe in the Bible, Kurt? Hey, bro. Let me check it out. So far, yes, right? Because a lot of the things, and my name is Officer Yekiel. A lot of the things the officer's been bringing out, it happened to us. Going into slavery on slave ships. Having yokes of iron upon our neck. Lashes on our back. Living in the ghettos. Getting shot down in the streets. That happened to us. But do y'all understand why that happened to us? Because we didn't keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments. So if that happened to us because we didn't keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments, what must we do to get out of this predicament? Keep the laws, right? Let's see. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Because we read about if we didn't keep his laws, what would happen, which is going on right now. But let's see what would happen if we keep God's laws. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God said it shall come to pass, meaning that it will happen. It is certain. It is definite. If we keep God's laws, hearken means to listen, read, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. I'm going to have him read it again, but before I do, I got a question. Uh, my sister with the visor hat. How you doing, ma'am? How you doing today? What's your name? Sherry. Sherry. Okay, Sherry, Moses, my brother with the blue shirt. Uh, so we, so I got a question for y'all. Are we above all nations on the earth right now as a people, as black people? Where are we at right now? We at the bottom. We are at the bottom. But God said this. Read it again. Read. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. So God said if we listen to him, you got kids, Sherry? You got kids, Moses? You got kids, Kurt? Uh, you, got, you got children? All right. I got four kids. I got a set of rules for them. I'm married, got four kids. I work hard, work a good job. If my children break my rules, what do you think is going to happen? Punishment. If your children break your rules, what is going to happen? Moses, what is going to happen if your children break your rules? What is going to happen? Okay. This was our punishment right here. Sherry, look. This was our punishment for breaking our father's rules. Slavery, lashes on the back. Slave ships. On drugs, crack cocaine, prostitution. Us having to serve our enemies. But if your children keep your rules, what is going to happen? You reward them. Let's see what our reward is. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high, above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee. And, over Go ahead. and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God said if we kept his commandments, we shall be a blessed people. We shall be a blessed people. Uh, getting, getting a higher amount of link than you normally would per month don't make you blessed. Our people like to say 
that we are a blessed people. I'm blessed and highly favored. Don't you hear that a lot, Sherry? If we were blessed, we would not be living in the ghettos. We would not be number one in STDs. If we were blessed, we would not be killing each other. 59 people would not get shot in the weekend and 12 people dead if we were a blessed people. Y'all understand that? We can be a blessed people if we do what the Lord say, but we are not because we trying to do our own thing. So what should we do in order to be a blessed people? Once again, Jerry, Come on, participate, repent. What about you? Keep the laws. Repent. So, Sherry, what does repent mean? You have to ask for forgiveness, and then you have to practice doing the right things. Practice doing the right things. What, what about you, my sister? What's your name? Come closer. I'm hard of hearing, so you got to come close. Say, what's your name? Elizabeth. Okay. So, Kurt, you said repent as well. Moses. Uh, what do you say? What, do, what what should we do as a people to get closer to God? Because we need God, right? Mm -hmm. Chicago needs God. I don't know if y'all are paying attention, but hey, this whole world needs God. But Chicago, most definitely, we need God. Uh, Sherry, Moses, Kurt, Elizabeth, y'all on point. We have to repent. But let's see how do we repent and do the right thing. Because as a people, we not doing the right thing. Read. Nope. Uh, let's go to Acts first. I'm sorry, what you say, Elizabeth? You right. But let's see how we love each other. Because we don't know how to love each other. Read. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Read that again, because this is Christ talking. This is Christ talking. We read not an Acts in the New Testament. Read. Repent ye therefore. So repent. Repent means to change. To turn away from what you're currently doing and go back to God. Read. And be converted. And be converted. That means change. Now the question is, what converts, what converts us? What changes us? The word of God, what about you, Moses? The word of God, what about you, Elizabeth? What converts us? What changes us? Same thing. Same thing. You agree, Shay? The, the Holy Spirit. Okay, we're going to see what that is, too. Let's get in the Bible what changes us. We have to renew our mind and start thinking like the thoughts of our forefathers in the Bible. We got to stop going off our own understanding. We have to learn this Bible. Read. Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. All our answers is in the Bible. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. One more time. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So what converts our soul? The law. The law of the Lord. Not the law of sacrifice, because Christ came. He is, the, he is the sacrifice for us so we can repent and start keeping his laws. Give me a law. What's the law that our, pro our people have a problem keeping, Kurt? Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not. Hey, that's heavy in Chicago. Chirac, right? What about you, Elizabeth? What's the law that our people don't keep? Thou shalt love, love each other as thou love thyself. Love thy neighbor as thou... Thou shalt not steal. What about you, Sherry? Not Don't cut our people commit adultery like crazy. Not only just physical adultery, but also spiritually too. But also we put ourselves, we put that stumbling block in front of each other to commit these sins. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. 